Well, I think I was always naturally a curious young man, uh, right back to when I was very young, five, six years old. Brought up in almost an atheist environment by my folks. When I hit 15 years old, sort of read the Bhagavad Gita, the Sri Mag Bhagavita, looked at all kinds of things, you know, wanted to know about Buddha, was always searching and searching and searching. And then I left that uh, until I was in my late 30s, where I had hit a bump in the road with my business, was really, really full of sorrow and pain, and called on a friend of mine who said, and said, basically, get me a job on Wall Street because I'm sick and tired of working for myself. And she said, no, you wouldn't last five minutes on Wall Street, son. She said, what you need is the gospel. My understanding of God, pretty, to, to a great extent, was that God was um, a stern character. Um, he had a lot of rules and regulations. A God that, that more or less was going to put boxes around me and box me in. So I went and met with her for lunch, and she turned me on to Emmett Fox. And I began reading Emmett Fox, and my life changed. But I really still hadn't met Christ yet. I had begun to hear the word, and my life was improving, but there was a long way to go. I had a group of friends that continually worked on me. These were guys who already felt the word, knew the word, and still loved me despite the fact that I wasn't one of them. When they would see me in pain, they would counsel me, and I was resistant. Uh, but I think that's ultimately how it happened, that I had friends who I trusted who brought me to a place. So there was this pain and sense of having no mission in life, having no purpose, having friends who consistently loved me and surrounded me as we were taught by Jesus, and then the Spirit stepped in. One of the things that I encountered as we went along with this is that life begins to happen. I thought that everything that happened from that point forward was going to be fabulous and magical. But over time, what I discovered was that faith is more than just a feeling. It's faith. It's believing in what you can't see. It's believing in Christ's enduring love when you feel like your face is in the dirt. And he's not let me down ever since that time. Not for one minute. There was certainly a miraculous change that occurred once I accepted Christ. But, the, but it's a process. And I'm learning more and more about this process. And I expect that the journey will go on for the rest of my life. What's so intriguing to me now and so pleasing to me is that I've gotten to a point where I trust him. He works through me on a daily basis and I can see him in everything that occurs. In business, I see him in the opportunities that come my way. In my home life, I see it in the happiness and um, fulfillment in my relationship with my wife. With my friends, I see it in both my ability to counsel. I don't know that I was able to counsel before, but I counsel from him. The lesson that you can learn from my experience is that just because you don't necessarily believe doesn't mean that Jesus isn't waiting for you around the corner. That if you have a heart for love and you have a longing for happiness, purpose, acceptance, that if you just give Jesus a chance, go to the Bible, read a little bit of the New Testament, let it speak to you. It can and will change your life in ways that you can't even imagine.